Welcome to Satisfactory, my name is Nidaos and we are up to the episode 22, I believe, of our Let's Play. And uh, we have, uh, we've really established ourselves in, well, you can see here, in a drone-based world, and that's really where we want to go. So, if, uh, if I want to continue to make this interesting, then I have to do something aside from just going to a location and stamping down some uh, input ports and output ports, and then uh, just build a new item and then we'll move on to the next. So basically that's what we're going to do today. Wait, what? What? No, but one of the big things we've been working towards is supercomputers. We absolutely need supercomputers to get going. So uh, what we are going to start uh, here is that we are going to just as dawn is breaking here. There's just, uh, we, we also have some, uh, yeah, we do have some hard drives here. So what we want to do is we want to start doing more of the research so we can unlock these three things so we can get all the all the alternate recipes uh, unlocked we need the turbo motors we actually need nuclear this one also has uh, some of the electromagnetic rods are used for a supercomputer build but this one will uh, be just fine so we can get alternate supercomputers we'll just do this one now that we have fuse frames i just have a few supercomputers lying around so why not unlock that one immediately milestone reach Turbo motors can now be constructed in order to build the latest fixed improved factory buildings, such as the Miner Mark III. A new project part enables progress to the next phase. Oh, that's actually not where I want to go. Uh, yeah, so what I want to do instead is I want to show you something we built, some new build that uh, yes, last time was an exploration episode and it was a good exploration episode, no doubt about it, and I, I'm happy that you enjoyed it as well. But we're not going to do those uh, just just now. We might have a look at the spider cave later on just for change of pace. But, you know, we've also built some things. And this is a big build, but it's not really a particularly interesting build. It doesn't progress us very for, very much further. So uh, I did not want to spend the time on making this one. So we're just going to look at it from here. Basically, what it does is it comes in. Uh, I can't even tag this. This is batteries. This is... Ooh, who knows what it is. I don't even know what it is, and that's something else. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is um, heat sink, so this must be aluminium thing. This is a heat sink build, but it's also a copper sheet build, because we're actually going to need a lot of copper sheets also when we need to do AI limiters, which we haven't done yet. I can't know if I can do that. Oh, we are hovering here, cool. So what it is, is this one, the storm port, is bringing in alclad aluminium sheets. Yes, this means batteries. And this is the heat sinks out. This is the copper sheets out. So basically copper sheets in here, making 240 copper sheets per minute going in here. I know that maybe like, oh, why, why are you not building it? Well, the, the reason why I'm not building is because we have other things to build and they're going to be somewhat similar designs. And this one is like building copper sheets at this stage of the game. Nah, that's not interesting. Heat sinks is just one of those things that we need. And that's going to be needed for the quest that we are going to do now. What we're going to do is not go in here, but oh, should we go in here? We're going to look at supercomputers. Supra. Supercomputers. We're going to make this one. So it's going to be radio control units that we have done. We have uh, then the cooling system that we do not have. But you can look at the cooling system. The lower option is using... We'll just go here. Heat sinks, well, that's the one we have right now. And motors, we have that in low quantities. And then we have some nitrogen, that's good. And on top of that, we get the cooling system. So we're gonna make a lot of cooling systems and because the cooling systems will be used for the alternate supercomputers, which is way easier to make, I think. It is at least much simpler because they can actually be made in an assembler that's pretty sexy, if you can say something like that. But we also have another issue. Uh, the drone port designs take a silly, silly amount of power. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to find a, a way to... This is going to be our last build before we have to expand power. And that's a bit of a problem. We do have a good power build that takes uh, 300 iron and... Oh, sorry, 300 oil and makes it into 10,000 megawatts of power. So that's a pretty good build. What we're going to do here is we are going to head out to the been the thing we built like a couple of episodes ago what was that it was something that requires nitrogen i can't remember what it was it was not, oh yeah it was the fused frames we just used fused modular frames not used for a whole lot of things but it got us started on the nitrogen and it also got us started on hit on the 
drone design. So now that we have that, we also have this nitrogen, which we will then use for building the cooling systems. So that is going to be the first objective. We're going to build a platform for the cooling systems. We're going to build, then once that's done and operational, we are going to build a supercomputer build. And then I can guarantee you that by the time we have supercomputer builds, we don't have power. We're going to have run out of tons of things. And that will be sort of, on the one hand, it'll achieve a big goal. On the other hand, it'll just set a number of new goals like power and batteries and plastic and AI limiters and turbo motors. Yeah, so there's still a lot of different things. And then from there on, if uh, there is still an interest in it, then my idea is actually to start doing some design work on some factories that will be making some of the... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I just didn't... Oh my God, I did not want to go. I don't know what I'm going to do now. Yeah, that was anticlimactic, or maybe it was just... <laughs> okay, too much talking, not enough uh, flying. Right, this is our fused <laughs> frames. I wish there was a platform here. That would be so nice if there was a platform right here. And now there is a platform here, so that was easy. Just just like that, we have a platform. All right, so I was, uh, as I was uh, saying, we need a platform to build our our new build, this is where we built the cooling system. So let's have a look at the cooling system just to get an idea about what it is uh, we want to make. So cooling system, the heat sinks that we built off camera, we have the memory search, uh, the motors, we can request that and some nitrogen gas. And that means that we need to make it in a blender. That's perfect. Should we just take a look at the mem just because uh, now that we have the research, we can do a new supercomputer build. This is not a good supercomputer build. I think, no, it's definitely not because it uses batteries. Any battery we can make is just uh, always going to be uh, going to be used for our, our feeding our drones. So I'm not even gonna do that. So what I need is I need only three things in. The first location would actually be used for batteries, but I don't need batteries. I can just take this one up with batteries and I have batteries coming in. So um, instead I am going to build uh, let's see, uh, this is going to be one, two, yeah, actually not like this at all. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Look at me counting and stuff. Oh, right, the first thing I should do here is actually, um, is actually this one. One, two, three. Because then we can start using the, the hovercraft thing, hover pack. And I know you want me to use the hover pack, so I'm going to try using it more. I'm going to set these sort of, instead of going max distance, because then it doesn't work, then we're going to go out here. There, and that one, and then I'm going to take it into the middle, because otherwise it doesn't work. So, like this, I think I should now be able to fly out everywhere good and we need to make some of these good ones here okay let's um it is aligned with that one over here so this is going to be i don't know a, either heat sinks or motors coming in and this will be the other one heat sinks and or motors and this will be the output of cooling systems that will then be put back into the network and it is not working so somewhere there's a gap there's a gap here there it's that bit of a slide when uh, working with this when you stop it doesn't stop instantly and that's a bit of an issue yeah so this is going to be super bad because we are going to really run start draining our our power let's have a look Yep, just whoop, just added another 300. I can't even hook up my entire drone hub because that just takes too much power. But we got good stuff. Good stuff is going on here. Now I'll take these out. So the design would be exactly the same as this one. First, I'm going to figure out where I want my outputs. So I'm going to get, uh, no, this one and this one. So they will need to be, this will be our middle lane. This will be the transport lane, I suppose, here. And I want to make it, yeah, that's actually great. Okay, so I want to go over here to figure out where it is placed compar comparatively. Uh, so here I have the middle lane, and then this one is 
This is going to be the middle if it's 3x3. Three three, and then it goes 1, 2 closer. Okay. 2 closer to the middle. So, just to illustrate. I'm kind of considering the blender to take a 3x3 three three square. So, like the, man the manufacturer and like the you would want to have it here. But in order for us to make it work with having our uh, spa uh, belts, conveyor, lifts fit perfectly, then it's going to be one, two closer. And this one would be the middle, one, two. Those are kind of just some, th some things we just need to learn. And this one will be one, two, and this will be the middle. Good. And now I can build the blenders if we have enough. They're going to be gathered from here. So now I need to see if I can get it aligned here. That's one. It's two. And I'll just build it for kind of irrespective of how much it actually wants. Because that's just the size of this area. We're not going to make like mega builds or anything at this point. I want to make sure that we unlock everything. And then only once we've unlocked everything, then we can start making some mega builds. And because otherwise I spent too much time on building something that really isn't going to be used very much. And this will be, I guess, here. Does that really make sense? No, it does not make sense at all, does it? No, it doesn't. I want to get it consistent. So that's going to be there. And this one goes here. Then it goes all the way over on this side. Uh, no, this one. In the middle. And inbound. So these are not hooked up yet. There. But they will be with... I can't drag it over there. But I can drag this one into that corner and that means we can take this middle one that I just built just to have power in the middle there so power is established for all of these they will all be making <clears throat> alternate cooling device that's a cooling device it's not a cooling system it's a cooling device let's get the cooling devices up and running there we go all eight of those we can take these alignment things out I hope and let's uh, maybe it's actually easier from here. So I am going to get the stuff inbound from the top, like up here. That's going to be one. That's going to be the other. And it's going to be there. And one, two, three. And then this is the only one that really matters. There are four. That one. Out, 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 out. These two. Yes. <clears throat> and then we'll we'll test to see if it works. From here. Yes, I love that sound. It's so good. Come on, there. So what we need to remember is that the blender has to move too closer to the middle tile to actually work. And I'll do the same thing over here. That's going to be one, two, three. One, two, three, four. No, top one, I think, moved the wrong way. There. I don't understand why they want to rotate. That one. And the last one. Two and these three and these two and these three. Good. Now we go again for this part. I'm going to build this in one go because I feel pretty confident about the design because the design is pretty much just a copy paste of the one we have over on uh, the one we built over for this one. Because then I'll get water coming in or not water, nitrogen coming in. Let's go to our liquids. Liquids come in here, and that will be right on this one. Oh, right. I think that by using this, we can actually uh, almost.
Well, it is indicating something. Good. And now I just need to go down. This is really not easy. This is going to be the nitrogen coming in. I'm sorry for just all this. It's impossible to really make this in a easy to see way. Because I have to build the other ones first. <clears throat> sorry. There. And nitrogen. How much nitrogen do we need? We need 45 times 4. That's uh, 180. So 180 coming in. That's pretty damn simple. Look how easy we built this. That's that's pretty cool, I think. Okay, this one goes here. I have to remember to take these up. And that one. And and then the, the more difficult one, which is below. I think we have an auto save coming up here. That's one segment. And that's the second segment. That's the third segment. So now the four of those are tied together. And what I need to do is build out here. One, two. This will be... It's hard to say. One. Oops. Two, three maybe. And that means I will build from the side and go up to the top. Ah, should have built the lower one first. Get some light. Sorry about that. Okay, so we have now input. This is going to be super easy. This will be the input for the drones. Uh, let's start by making the battery input thing because that's also super simple. And that is definitely not going to be here. It's going to be over on this side. I think it's going to be here. Yeah. And I'll build. I think it's like. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's working. It's working. So let's build this Mark 1 belt. It's kind of silly to always use a Mark 1 for this, but I really don't want it to be flying or moving too fast. Which is completely relevant. There we go, that one. So they get. This is the one getting, I don't know, maybe heat sinks, maybe motors, I think. And then we'll take these two out. Go to this one. That's inbound. And this will go. Love that little ping sound. So nice. Don't love it when it's not there for the assembler. But yeah, this one does not need it. <clears throat> this one will be making cooling system. And this one will be making cooling syst system mm. heat sink. Sure. This will make cooling system motor. There. All right. And then I'm going to go. OK, we got all inputs. No, I don't have all the inputs yet. I don't have this one. That'd be output one two and of course not this one because that's the input to the robo the drone port this is the output from the drone port one two backwards and in great again output drone port that's gonna be here one two and then it will be a like that that's also working. So now I think I'll actually get stuff inbound first. And that means in order for us to get inbound, we are going to use make two of the portable miners <clears throat> because we want two drones. I don't put drones in the output part. The outputs are what I would call passive providers, while the inputs are active requesters. It's I know it's kind of set of factorial terms, but it actually fits really nicely in this context. So they are active requesting because they have a drone they're passively providing because they don't have a drone if you do active providing then you're going to have to then you need a outputs drone port for each destination that is no good that is no good at all 
so that you don't want um yeah so this um these should be done right yeah i can actually set it up i should be doing this this is coming from motor so we just go here i love this design this is so nice it's so simple really well thought out that uh this one i mean i'd love to have more drones but i i like that they've decided made some kind of design decision and saying no 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 it's not going to be like uh, factorial where you just have a million drones that is not what we want here did this one just not get connected no it did not get connected okay so what the only thing remaining is getting some outputs while we wait for the re ingredients to come in that'll be here and that'll be here input input and then for absolutely no reason i always take the these output belts so that has to be one two oh yeah we also don't have nitrogen we should probably get nitrogen as well that's going to be super simple and the only thing i need is to make sure that i have some power give me some power over there And then we're going to take that one and try to sort of from here point it that way. Yeah. And oops. That's probably fine. And I don't really like that one. Let's build it here because this one is exactly where I want it to not be. And let's go to our liquids. That one. Just go as far as we can. And go up. This one is giving us 120. Not enough. And that one will give us hopefully 60 more. Uh, no. But that's fine. I am just extremely sloppy when it comes to this kind of design. I know. Because I don't care. It, it really holds no value to me that they are straight lines or anything like that. As long as they... Water, I've just given up. I've given up on making it nice out here. <clears throat> here. There we go. That's actually somewhat nice. So, do we have it? Yes, it's coming in. Great. So, all we need now is the... belt the transport belt here that one of course the ingredients coming in but that's uh, kind of beside the point we'll get that and that is going to be here and then i'm going to start it from this side again which will go to i'm doing this so that i can force the direction here no nope. from there and then we need Cooling systems, you know, I don't actually want to have a cooling system dedicated storage. It's going to store in here and that's it. That one. And that means output. I mean, and as soon as the robot or as soon as the drones come back in, they should be... Uh, it should be just starting and it should... I mean, there's a lot of shoulds in this one, I guess. That one. Oh. Oh. What? What are you doing here? There's no way that that's... That's... What the... Oh, right. I must have something else that's already been set up to request it. Oh, maybe the back in the drone port. Ah, the drone hub. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. So the drone hub is already requesting these even though they don't exist yet. Yeah, that might be a bit bit aggressive I guess that one and that's input good all right let's see this is coming back the only way to see is it is not actually bringing things in that's not great what are you supposed to be bringing in heat sinks why are you not bringing heat sinks in my friend that is exceedingly disappointing we got motors and I guess we and I guess we don't have anything else hmm why are we not getting heat sinks? All right, you try again. Go out. This time you go get some heat sinks for us, buddy. 
And aside from this, I think it's actually built. So let's uh, just wait for the heatsink to come in, and then we can uh, we, we can see that the whole thing is working. And now we finally have the drone coming in. Let's see if we... Yeah, 900 coming in. And as you probably already knew, the reason why we had this odd drone here and we didn't have anything here was because this one was actually hooked up to cooling system. So it went from here, trying to pick up something there and then go back. So that was the reason why we had the ghostly one here and the reason why we didn't get any heat sinks in. But that has been corrected. You can delete your comment now and uh, we are back on track. And we'll see heat sinks coming roaring out here. Roaring, I tell you. Any second now. I hope. Yeah, it should be there. Oh, there we go. Heat sinks all the way in. Are they working? Mm, yeah, there they Now they come. That one, I want to make sure that everything is working here so that they're all hooked up. Yes, and yes. Okay, so this is working. This is working. This is working, and this is working. So we'll they'll each be spewing out two cooling systems per production, and I don't know what the cycle, 32 minutes, 32 seconds. Then I'll get, we'll just see the first ones come in. That means we can now make cooling systems out here, and it's time for us to go to build our supercomputer platform, which is super simple to do. It's surprisingly easy, and <laughs> barely an inconvenience even. It doesn't even need blenders, doesn't mean manufacturers. We can, there we go, first ones are out. It does just means it just needs uh, assemblers. We can make supercomputers and assemblers. That's crazy, right? And we got the first ones. Lovely. All right, let's head back to the base and uh, take a look at the platform. And here we are back at the drone hub right there at the four way intersection. This four way intersection has been adjusted slightly. This is our heatsink build that we've used for our. So this heatsink is going somewhere over there for our cooling system. As you can see, the drone port cooling system up in the top heads up display. And over there, we have a little bit of a teeny tiny, tiny platform. It's just 12 by 12, but that's all we need. Let me jump down here. Hit a ride on this new tube line, which is going to help us get into this location if we jump out here. But we don't. We're going to go out. We okay, 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 okay. So at this point, we are going to do again pretty much what we have done before i want to show you the consistency of how to build this okay so we have one two and then on the third one right there one two three one two three one two and then this should be one two and three so now it's 12 wide and i'm gonna just again do these kind of things just add a few extra of these so we can fly around more easily with the and that one and then go back come on why the and from here just go into the middle because why not good and that means we can now switch back to that, which you like for me to use to for crafting. So I will do that. And I'll build my alignment things, usual, here, here. Because I can't build it without this alignment thing. And I'm also going to build it, uh, that one. Yeah, but we'll have to remove this and build some drone ports for us. Drone ports. That one. So this will be the supercomputers outbound. Then I'm going to have on this one, this will be radio control units inbound. And then I'll have cooling systems inbound. And then I will have batteries inbound. And we will see an absolute disaster once I hook this up. There. Okay. Actually, these have to be upgraded all the time. Otherwise, they will get in trouble with. Potentially. And this is now 400 megawatts additionally that we need, which is a bit more than I like to use. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're soon going to run on batteries. So as soon as we're done with this, I have to start working on additional power. But I don't bother doing that now because I am a lazy git. So then I'm not going to do that. What we want to do as usual is take the output. And this is... At this point, I just want to show you how 
easy this hat now has become because it is so robust it has to go into the inputs one two three another input there and the third input here one two three I really like this design and it, considering how oops oh, considering how awful satisfactory is for building the same thing again and again you just you have to do it by muscle memory by building some things that are simple you know the distances so you don't have to rebuild them many times and then you kind of become faster by just uh, by having designs that are easy to build like for example it's easier for us to build things like this uh, if we know exactly how much distance I want. So that takes care of all the batteries. Done. Easy. Then we are going to find a way to be where this is going to be the transport line because that's always the one. I'm just going to build it here. Actually, I'm going to build it a bit different. It's going to be just one is the lower one and the other one is one, two, three. And then one... Two and three. Yes, it is this simple. It is crazy. And whew, then we see if I build it that one, then one, two. I think I have to build it here when it's just an assembler. So let's see if that works. So go here, build an assembler. That will be. Hold on. It's the. Ah, build that one too close. This will have to be the transport lane, so I don't think this is actually a good location that I build it at. I think I need to make it, give it just a bit more breathing room. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. This one will then be the input. It is going to be so damn small that it doesn't really, it doesn't really require much. That one. Okay, so let's try for this one and try again. Assembler. Let's try it here. Definitely not correct. again here and then that's where we what yeah okay uh, how did I misplace this one so badly again There we go. Yeah, this is the one that, in my opinion, should absolutely be uh, clicking, but it doesn't. And in here, we can then make it into supercomputers, OC computers, OC supercomputers. I don't know why they are OC about them, but uh, they are now. So this one is in the middle, and then one further away. And on this side as well. And here. Let's take these two out. And, oops. These two out. Okay, uh, let's see. So this will be throughput and That's the main line, that one. Get the smaller ones inbound. I mean, the quantities on these are going to be so small and they're going to be starved all the time, I imagine. There, perfect. Super. This one, 
Super, this one. Super, everything is super. And I will need to get from here into that one. Into. And all the way over to the side. Over to the side. Come on, inbound and all right, that is good. This will be hooked up to. That's kind of crowded, and now I can take the middle one out, the one that I was just building. Yeah, so it's actually okay to use this way. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting, kind of coming around on this. Okay, next up is output. We don't really know what this output is going to be, but it doesn't matter. It's going to go into this line, one, two, and then it's going to go in. Yeah, and then we have two. Oh, that's a mistake, but whatever. Take this and put it in here. From here, one, two, and then get Look at that. Everything is working if we just get the outer safety complete. Great. Now we have both inputs. We just need the output as well. But let's uh, get this done. This one is going to be called supercomputer. I don't know if we can copy it. This will be called supercomputer and cooling system. Yep. This one is going to be called... Oh, it's actually called 61 by now. A radio control unit. I have no problem by making the names long. I guess this system doesn't have problems either. That's good. And this one should have been started long ago. Battery. And this one is unique because I need to be able to feed this one in first. Otherwise, it doesn't work. And this one will be set up to battery. That one doesn't work because I don't have the drones yet and I'm gonna get three drones that means not this one but this one get me three drones <clears throat> it is a bit weird that we need portable miners for those but you know it's it's not really a big deal there go up and build the ones that are necessary, that's under transportation, and build a drone. Boop, boop, and boop. There we go. This one should be going instantly. Yeah, it's already taken seven of those out. And all I can then do in the meantime is make sure that we have oops, some outputs. There. There, and out. And again, as irrelevant as it is, I'm still going to use Mark 5s for these transports. Does it go all the way? Yeah, it does. And this one again. Here. And I'll do outbound as usual. I'm trying to build this as oops as quickly as possible without making mistakes. Yep, yep. You just said that, didn't you? Yeah, and I definitely don't want any any extra storage for supercomputers. And again, that's the wrong one. It has to be the inbound inbound one. Boom. All right. So what we need to do now is simply wait for the batteries to come back in. When the batteries are in, we'll see the other ones flying out. And once the other ones are flying out, then we will be able to see that the whole thing is working. That's gonna be taking just a bit of time. So I'm gonna just uh, forward until we get that one out. Uh, batteries here. Cool, let's, uh, let's wait for the batteries to come in. And here comes the batteries. Let's hope that we have a few. Yeah, we have 148. So there's definitely a battery issue. 
And I think that's related to plastic and coal for the aluminum case. Yeah, I, that's definitely a plastic issue. Oh no, a battery issue. So that is something I will have to fix, but definitely not right now. So power is an absolute disaster. Batteries are a disaster. <laughs> um, plastic is not great. We're missing AI limiters. We don't have turbo motors. So, you know, we're not quite done yet. And we haven't even started making any of the last tech items. So that's also going to be a bit of a hassle here. Let's see. Is it outputting? Uh, it's still in here. Oh, it's just really, really slowly opening that one. There we go. It has been unloaded. It has stuff. Yep. Why are they not coming out, though? Oh, because this one is weird. Ha! Rest looks good. Yep, they're coming in. And patience has never been my strong suit, so that's... Let me just go... Ah, okay, 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 okay. Just doesn't make any sense. There... And I'm going to put more of these. I, apparently, I have a few here. So these are just have to go slowly. I'm not going to wait for that. Sorry. And that one goes out. And that one goes out. So they should be taking off. And as they take off, we can... Please? Oh, right. Yeah, they're not taking off if I not, don't set them to something. Cooling system. Boom. And... Uh, what was the other one? This port is set to radio control units. There. Good. So they are taking off. Should be taking off immediately while the other ones are coming in. And the batteries are coming up for more. We are going to just see that they take off. Come on. You take off, my friend. Yep. You're taking off. Okay. So as we need now we need to wait for these two to come back. And again, we'll do a cut so we can see that they're coming back and it's starting to work. And here we go. They are actually coming in at exactly the same time. What an absolute luck at base that we have here. That is so cool that they're coming in exactly the same time. So let's see if they brought something with them. We can see uh, 462. That is pretty nice. And oh, 451. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, right, Judy. That's um, 462. That's That should be enough, shouldn't it? There should be uh, like a full, full nine stacks. Let's see it come out. We also have a few here in our inventory. There. No, not quite. Oh, they stack to 100. But this one is stacked to 50. Uh, okay, so this was actually a full one on radio control units. And look at this. We are now making a silly, silly amount of supercomputers. This is like the super simple supercomputers that you'd all wanted to uh, build. This is... Uh, Pretty much the pinnacle of what we can do. Actually, turbo motor is also really awful. So we'll have to... Uh, we'll, we'll get that. So somehow things don't really seem to be working. Why not? Cooling system. Oh, right. It's these damn ones. And three. And there. Okay, so that was exactly the problem that we... I knew that was there, but I didn't uh, actually address. All right, so we have supercomputers. They are, at this point, because they're just burning through all the stockpile, which is crazy. But then we are going to use, it takes nine per second. So this is, yeah, 36, 36 radio controllers, 36 cooling systems per minute. That's not gonna end in, a, that's in, in happiness. So but definitely radio controllers is something we will, we're using way more than I had anticipated. So that's uh, probably something that will eventually need to be scaled up. But it's all used for things that just need to fill up a buffer. And once that buffer is filled, then it's good. Look at that. Supercomputers coming in. We have now fully automated supercomputers. And we have killed our power. And we have barely any any batteries left. Oh, whoa, whoa. We are actually burning through the batteries. Are we? I thought it was just going down here. But it's getting close. It's getting very, very close. So what I'm... What we're going to do now is we're going to do power, then go back and make some more builds. And also time for us to, with these items, do we have what we need for turbo motors? I think we need to make AI limiters as well. AI limiters and turbo motors are the two remaining things that we haven't done. And then there's, of course, the entire thing around the nuclear power that I also want to do if there's an interest for it. So let me know if there's an interest for nuclear power. 
and it's not going to be right now because I, I I need to get power up but fast. But that's uh, so we are going to uh, continue building this, and I'm streaming it live on Twitch. It's Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays at 8 p.m. Central European time. You feel free to drop by. We're having a good old time and doing cool designs and talking and chatting and exploring and all that cool stuff. So I'm really enjoying the satisfactory streams as well. Uh, but this uh, is the end of the episode. So thank you very much for following or subscribing. And uh, hope you like it. Let me know. And the uh, good ideas are very much welcome for future uh, episodes. For now, thank you for watching and stay effective.